If you guys knew how much I actually touched my hair before I start filming videos. Uh. Hello, it's Riley. Welcome to my channel. Yes, I know, I look different. I have a face on. Hashtag boys in makeup 2K17. It's also 10.30 p.m. and I don't usually film videos this late, so that is why the lighting is awful. Please excuse. But today I wanted to talk about the boo-hoo, technology is bad epidemic that seems to be taking so much attention throughout so many people and so many media outlets now. This is probably my biggest pet peeve whenever I hear people People talking about it see people talking about it online and it's funny to see people talking about it online because it's literally like the definition like there's it's very hypocritical it's basically the thought or idea that you know technology Ooh, just had a coughing fit there I'm okay <laughs> It's basically the thought or idea that, you know, technology has absolutely ruined all face-to-face -face interaction. When I feel in reality that couldn't be farther from the truth. The internet and technology is so great and it's a tool that helps us meet so many new people. Also, face-to-face -face interaction. You guys do know that like Skype exists and FaceTime exists and Rabbit exists and Google Hangouts exist. So it's not like we aren't seeing each other face-to-face. -face. And what about all the conventions things like Playlist Live, VidCon, heck, even like Comic Con that are all caused by the media. They're all conventions that are around because of the media that help us meet people in real life, meet our favorite creators, meet the people who make the things that we love. Like, so you're gonna tell me that the people that I met and the people that I love that I got to see in person for the first time is not a real interaction because it was like caused by media? Or the whole trope of smartphones ruin relationships. Come on, please just think about this before you talk about it. Smartphones are an incredible tool in this day and age. They help us connect, they help us stay in touch with people that we need to stay in touch with. They also provide instant resources for those who need them. Instant resources that can be anything from when someone's having an anxiety attack or they need to call 911, hello? Also, y'all are forgetting that long distance relationships are also a thing that were also a thing before technology, but now that technology exists makes it 300 times times easier for us to communicate with our loved ones. Like now I don't have to wait three weeks for a letter to come in the mail from my boyfriend and be like, oh, hey, how you doing? How was your day? And then me replying three weeks later. And then we can get into the trope that anxieties and youth are higher today because of social media and things like mental illnesses are on the rise because of their trends in media. Part of the thing I think is that we just have more resources nowadays and now we have better and more accurate ways to diagnose things like anxiety and depression than we had before. So yeah, there are gonna be higher levels of it today, but that's because we can find out that there are higher levels of it today and we have the resources in order to figure out who has anxiety and who does not have anxiety, who has depression, who does not have depression. And it's the technologies and the things and the advancements in society and things like computers and smartphones that have all led to help these discoveries. Plus, on the whole anxiety trope, there is so much more pressure from former generations on the millennials and current societies and the Gen Ys than there has ever been on a generation that has come before us from their previous generation. We are pressured so much much to be perfect. We have to get the perfect grades, we have to get the perfect job, but then there aren't any jobs available or left for us. Or our degrees in college are completely useless. The anxiety levels of kids today are about the same as what the anxiety levels were of mental hospital patients in the 1950s. And with all the pressure that the youth are kind of put under now from former generations that we have to be perfect and we have to do everything correctly, it makes sense and it's not something that's related to the technological advances. Remember that you, the one bad Bashing technology just had your hip replaced and you wouldn't have a hip if it wasn't for technology. Remember that if you're watching this video and are able to leave a comment and complain and argue your opinion with me, guess what? You wouldn't be able to do that without technology here, now would ya? Technology has changed the world more for better than worse. And y'all need to calm down and sit down and think for a second. If technology is causing you so much harm, don't use it. But it's uh, not that easy now, is it? I don't know. Just some food for thought so you can think about that let that like sit in your digestive system and stew let me know what you think of it by leaving a comment down below do you have the same opinion as me a different opinion if you have a different opinion remember that you
you wouldn't be able to leave that opinion without technology. Technology is good. Technology improves the world. You can also give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps me out and click that subscribe button down below because then you can keep up with all my videos and if you hit the little bell icon you can be notified when I upload. You can find all of my social media links down in the description below. It is at the Riley Kyle on every single platform. Also if you hit the two bubbles on the screen they will take you to subscribe to this channel and to my vlog channel and the video box will take you to my last video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys a lot and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Okay bye.